So normally you guys can't see him because he's normally right here on the bookshelf or straight down, like right there. But for it being season two, obviously I had to bring Rimuru out. Come on. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Slime Season 2, Episode 1, or Episode 25 total, not including the OVAs and the recap episode and the partial recap episode. But uh, we ended off with a little finalization of the Freedom Academy arc, helping these kids prevent their imminent deaths by having someone take over their body. Not really take over their body, but inhabit their body as like a coincider, you know? Um, I will be honest to you guys, I did get spoiled on the spirit that inhabited Chloe. I don't know how big of a spoiler that is, literally have no idea, but I'm not going to say it out loud for all of you guys who don't know. So, you know, sucks, but shit happens, especially when you're a YouTube reactioner, an anime reactioner, you get spoiled on some stuff. So that sucks ass. Remember guys, with the first and last episode of every season of every show we watch, the full length, which is normally only available on Patreon, is available to all you guys for free. If you So click that link in the description, watch the full length, come back here for the review. If you guys like that format, want to consider keeping it like that, maybe consider checking out that Patreon down below. If you guys want to support me and Patreon's not really your thing, you guys could just leave a like and a nice comment down below. It genuinely does help me with the YouTube algorithm. Don't forget to follow me on all my socials, Dapper Darius, Instagram, Twitter, and Twitch. And let's hop into this. Um, Reincarnate as the Slime, Season 2, Episode 1, Rimaru's Busy Life. Okay, so this takes place before the OVAs. The last OVA makes sense. Is that Tiss? I really like Tiss after the OVAs. Which some of you slime heads told me to watch the OVAs before season two, and I totally agree. There, there are some really critical parts, you know, to the overall story, but a lot of it was was an OVA, you know, it was a lot of side stuff, which was fun. I love seeing some of the action, I love seeing some of the fights. I just really have so much on my plate right now in terms of reactions that I just had to enjoy some anime off camera. So I want to formally apologize to the slime heads who wanted me to watch the OVAs. Just know, I love Tiss, and they were great. Yeah, okay, so this is after, which makes sense. The finals would be after this whole training thing. I was just curious because Rimuru had already left pretty much at the end of that but curious he just came back okay the whole teleporting and the warp is so handy and so dope so I know who was shocked Veldora which I don't know why it shocked Veldora I don't know how that the spoiler turns into the spoiler but I know who that is you know yeah I've heard some shit is going to go down this season. Good one. All right, let's hear this new opening. All right, good seeing all my favorite characters back. The low-key main hero of the show, Gopta. I love those anime shots and opening of a panning character in an open field staring off in the distance. I love it. <laughs> Ooh, Hinata. Ooh, we get to see our boys back. I haven't seen them in so long. They were the party with Shizu. Oh, I forgot their names, but I have them written down. They were dope. We got Ramaris again. Who the fuck is that? Ooh, new fit for Reover looking fresh. Okay, opening. That was clean. Animal Kingdom of Urizania should send out delegations. Awesome. <laughs> this is this is diplomatic right here. This is very big for our, our federation. My bay. She oh Okay. Very ceremonial. I <laughs> like the Rimuru accessories. <laughs> I also like the Rimaru accessories. I agree. Somber and respectful, like a clean black suit, just like the others were wearing. 
<laughs> From how we started to where we are now is so crazy. That is a fire fit, though. Very somber and respectful. Vastly. True, true. True, true. This is a very important mission we're on right here. Maybe. I could see that. I agree. I like that. I like that due to how OP we are. Rimuru genuinely is looking out for the good of his people, you know? The monsters. <laughs> You know what? I normally would disagree, but I agree. After seeing how strong some of the demon lords are, like Milam, we'll take it. We'll play it safe. Benny Maru is probably my favorite of the key genes. Either Benny Maru or Shion. That'd be cool to be a part of the city, you know? And like see your people go off into progress and how much better you just, oh it's crazy nice oh we're going back to dwargan i love gazel hell yeah he's been a very key po key member in getting us set up and shit touche touche trainee or her sister, Trainee. Thank you for the heads up. I appreciate that. The champions. That was probably the ugliest mushroom I've ever seen. Like the way they animated that. Oh, I haven't seen Yuma in so long. Yeah, in our place. Just keep the story, make them well more known. We don't need it. I remember that. So Yuma became the badass adventure hero with new armor. He doesn't even look the same, man. That's dope. I remember how like in enthralled how like enraptured he was with Rimuru. I, you love to see it you love it you such a good guy oh jeff oh i love jeff too my boy <laughs> oh, i love the music like traditional samurai i love how gopta is hakuro's pupil too gopta is so nasty which is funny but he's just on a whole nother level <laughs> This is why this episode is called Rimuru's Busy Life. It's really getting us back into season two. I'm feeling it. Because you got to remember, there's, like I said, there's so many characters, so many plot points that happened in season one, so many titties on Shion that I love. Nice. It probably is in this world at least hard to make, you know? I give them some brandy. They love that. Since the last time you came here, a lot of shit's happened. Rimuru is very safe, very smart. I like it. I don't know, the guy on the left is pretty fucking drunk. <laughs> Which, you know you have. <laughs> Not him, he's still drunk. I need some brandy. Oh, wow. Talk about Beastmasters, the animal kingdom of Eurasania. Four strong tiger drawn carriages. Ten times badder, badasser. They're like lightning tigers. That's fucking sweet. Feels like a mage's staff. Oh my. Albus, the golden serpent. Hello. 
three beast katirs ah okay i've seen her in some people's thumbnails sufia the white tiger claw so what what are we if they're not uh humans they obviously have animal ears are they like chianthropes or chianthropes oh yeah you want the smoke huh sufia it's like you you can do it but sufia wants Hey, Shion would be a badass person to get rid of this. Yeah, Yoon, get the fuck back. I was just joking. Let my girl Shion handle this. Ooh, the lightning is so cool. Ooh, good moves, girl. I love me some cat fights. No pun intended. <laughs> And we know Benny Maru is that guy. Grucius. Go and deal with that human. He's the runt. Ooh. We're starting the season off with some fantastic action set pieces. Oh, and some fantastic characters. Lycanthrope, which is like a Keanthrope. Which I'm guessing is just a demi-human. Half animal, half human. Lycanthrope reminds me of uh, Lycanroc, the Pokemon, right? It has to do with Earth, maybe? I don't know. Right? We're trying to do this all peacefully and not fight. They literally get here within five minutes. We're going all out in a fight. True. Is that the end of the episode? For our first episode, man, that was fucking, that was great. That was fantastic. Well, overall, fantastic first episode. Really put me back into the world, uh, especially timeline-wise. We're definitely after the OVAs. I love seeing Jeff and Tiss. Um, I love seeing the kids again now we left come back to Tempest even though I'm sure we're gonna be seeing them again and visiting especially with having to know what happens to Chloe and stuff like that we gave ended up giving her Shizu's mask all that jazz you know we got to see what ended up with uh, we got to see Yuki again and we got to see Hinata Shizu's other student but I like where we're at timeline wise we're literally pretty much directly after you know the kids are still have to take their finals and stuff but in terms of carrying and all that, we're just going to be setting up delegations and relations with Eurasania, which is awesome. So the whole delegate situation is crazy. I agree with sending Benny Maru rather than Rimuru, especially with how, I, like they said, Carrion is very militant and it could be a very power hungry area, which I could see him being a demon lord and a very beastly militaristic one at that. But these guys are just hungry for power, like not hungry for power, hungry for action. Like they're like, like Sufi is like Goku. She's like, who wants to fucking go? I'm here. Let's fucking go. But I mean, she's not like Goku. She's like Goku in that sense. But she also has a, an, some sort of an elitist view in terms of her race above humans. She's a lycanthrope, which I just relate to Don Machi being a Kianthro or Chianthrope. I still don't know how to pronounce that, by the way, which is just like a demi human, half animal, half human. Um, I don't know this very specifics. I don't know the details of it in regards to this show versus that one. If there's any differences, if there's not, I don't know. Um, but we got Sophia, Albus, and uh, Grusius, or is it Gracia? It's definitely Grusius. But uh, I'll throw down Gracius. <laughs> um, I want to see Rimu, ba Rimuru back in action because we know how OP he is. I love seeing the catch up. I love seeing Yum again. It's been a minute since I've seen him. Shion obviously going off. All the people. Uh, I love the recap we got. It's always needed, especially with a, such a content dense show like this one. I really did not write down much for this first episode, but overall, I really enjoyed it getting back into this world. And I've heard the show is going to get much, much darker, which I am only looking forward to. Like, uh, they, they've shown some very dark stuff when it comes to non 
human or non-animal type beings like in the OVA um black the demon fucking his fighting a phantom and literally cuts off all four of his limbs and just hanging in there until he crushes his throat and like murders him which i'm like that's pretty fucking dark but it just so happened to be a phantom versus like doing that to a human like doing that to yume would be a whole different story you know so it's just like i'm, I'm interested to see where the show goes can't wait does the opening got me so hyped with remarries different uh outfit change seeing ramorous again seeing some of the action oh it's gonna be chef's kiss i know it is so on that note i am out of here guys i will see you next week this has been fan oh man it sucks that i gotta say that i'll see you guys next week for the next episode that sucks balls sucks big old blue rimaru balls <laughs> all right peace out guys